Hi guys, this video is not for the weak. So if you have an issue with that, go ahead and click off now. I'm getting ready to dive in the harsh realities that a lot of women need to hear. Now, fair warning, some of what you're about to hear will probably strike some kind of nerve with you. If you find yourself getting offended, it means that what's being said hits close to home and you are who I'm talking about. This isn't about attacking anyone or undermining them. It's about opening up a channel of communication that's been shut down for men out of fear of judgment and backlash. Because the fact is, it hits different when a woman says it. So here we go. Number one, every man should not be able to access you at all hours of the night. Number two, a man is not responsible for your daddy issues. Number three, a woman having a lot of male friends is a turnoff for a man. Number four, a man's value goes beyond his wallet and status. Number five, if you want a traditional man who pays all the bills, you have to be a traditional woman who submits. Number six, mind games are not cute. It's stressful and it turns him off. Number seven, prioritize your relationship like you do your career. Number eight, your self-worth should be self-made, not man-made. Number nine, respect his need for space as much as you do your own. Number 10, relying on a man to validate your emotions is not empowerment. Find your own emotional independence. Number 11, your beauty attracts him, but your traits will keep him. Number 12, never compare your man to any other man. Number 13, men fight battles too. They just don't talk about theirs. Number 14, say what's on your mind. He's not a mind reader. Number 15, acknowledge the little things he does for you. Number 16, respect the privacy of your relationship. Number 17, don't say you forgive him just to then bring it up in every argument thereafter. He will start to resent you. Number 18, if you love him, love his flaws too. Number 19, saying I'm sorry and actually meaning it is a major turn on for him. Number 20, accountability builds his trust for you. Number 21, jealousy is not sexy. Number 22, saying it's fine when it's not will eventually lead to him resenting you. Number 23, nagging pisses him off. Number 24, not everything needs to be shared on social media. Number 25, your happiness should not be his burden. Create it for yourself. Number 26, loyalty is not given, it's earned, work for it. Number 27, men don't like hints, say what's on your mind. Number 28, stop holding every man accountable for what your ex did, learn to differentiate people. Number 29, being high maintenance is not a badge of honor, it's a warning sign. Number 30, a true strong woman doesn't belittle her man, she builds him up. Number 31, material gifts don't replace emotional investment, don't chase what men can buy for you. Number 32, withholding sex as a tactic is emotional manipulation and it will always backfire. Number 33, his time is just as valuable as yours, so respect it. Number 34, the best love language for any man is respect. Number 35, your insecurities are yours to handle. Don't project your insecurities onto him. Number 36, ultimatums are not a communication strategy. Number 37, being right shouldn't come at the cost of being happy. Pick your battles wisely. Number 38, micromanaging him shows a lack of trust. Learn to let your control issues go. Number 39, testing him to prove his love is manipulation and he will leave your ass. Number 40, his family is part of the package. Respect them as you would him. Number 41, stop telling your friends all the details of your relationship. Number 42, changing him is not your job. Love him as he is or move on. Number 43, lying, even by omission, breaks trust. Honesty is non-negotiable. Number 44, don't ask him for the truth and then punish him for being honest. Number 45, constant negativity drains him. Be his peace, not his problem. Number 46, men are visual. Doll yourself up every now and then to show him what he has and to remind him of it. Number 47, being comfortable means that you look for ways to add value. Being complacent means that you never try to look for ways to add value. Never become complacent with your man. Number 48, respecting his past is crucial. You both have histories. Number 49, the silent treatment is immature. Open your mouth and communicate, even when it's hard. Number 50, men don't care about your career. They care about your traits. And here's an extra one, but it's so, so, so major. There's nothing wrong with belonging to your husband. That's why you take his last name. I want you to know that while these words may be tough to hear, they come from a place of sincerity, truth, and understanding. It's not about attacking anyone. It's about encouraging those open lines of communication. So with that being said, until the next video, I'll see you guys later. Bye.